Welcome, Seekers. Your search is finally over. It's too early in the morning, I can't do this. <laughs> I've resolved a mystery, something that has been plaguing me for a long time. And by, by a long time, I mean about six months, or when I got my gaming laptop. Um, it turns out that switching between a Radeon iGPU and a dedicated NVIDIA GPU in a modern laptop doesn't work very well. As in, it doesn't work at all. Uh, or so it seems to be. So I have a ROG 17-inch gaming laptop with a Ryzen CPU and, and an RTX 3070. On some games, Doom Eternal, Detroit Become Human, that use Vulkan 1.1, just won't run. And you get this error saying your GPU is not compatible with this. Now, one quick and dirty is to disable the iGPU, to disable the uh, Radeon. However, if you have a HDMI cable plugged from the laptop into a TV the way I do, I use like a glorified console, um, that won't work. As soon as you disable the iGPU, you lose access to that screen. So that was a no-go for me. Disclaimer. If you're watching this video six months from the day it was published, it might not work. Or this issue might have been resolved through a driver update via NVIDIA, AMD, or maybe something with Windows. Whatever the case, or even the vendor itself, you know, if it's ROG, then they might push some hardware updates that will solve this. So, don't be bad at me. Don't say it doesn't work. I mean, if it doesn't work today or in the next three months, then okay. But if it's more than th three to six months, then something else is amiss and you have to check that. Now, before you attempt this, it doesn't hurt to do other research to see whether your drivers are up to date on the GPUs, to see if your Windows is up to date, to make sure your vendor updates are up to date, your chipset and all of that. It doesn't hurt even using third-party tools to clear up drivers and then install them anew just to make sure that nothing is cached and is, is working uh, improperly. Is that a word? Improper? It is, but I, I don't know. I don't know if it's used this way. <laughs> and this is especially good practice if you frequently back up things. So if you back up your system frequently, changing the drivers is actually a good practice and keeping them up to date as well. Because if, if a new driver introduces a problem, you can roll back. Now, here's how you solve this issue. You navigate to advanced system settings by searching for them. So you can press on the Windows key on your keyboard or the little Windows logo down here. You type advanced system settings. You enter that, you need to be a local admin. You need to navigate to environment variables. And then within system variables, not user variables, system variables, you create a fresh one. And you call that disable underscore layer underscore AMD underscore switchable underscore graphics underscore one, and you set that to one. Disable layer AMD switchable graphics one. Okay, okay, and that should do it. That's it. That's all there is to it. And I don't know if you can, but can you feel it? Can you feel that pent up frustration? You know, just the time you've spent Googling this this matter and getting nowhere with it. Can you just feel all of that bio leaving your body? Can you feel relaxed? Feels good, doesn't it? And unfortunately, for those of you poor souls out there who couldn't benefit from this, uh, you know, thoughts and prayers. <laughs> just kidding, I'm an atheist. Come on. <laughs> you have to keep reading, keep reading, keep educating yourselves. If you find a solution, share it with everybody else. Let's get this pain and this nonsense out of our lives through educating ourselves. Well, thank you for watching. All of this info will be down in the description below as a TLDR. See you another time. Take care.